M0FXP, welcome back to my videos on the Rouillage UV58 or the Radtel 890 and this is running the M70 firmware. So let's get it back to its normal state by pressing the red. So normally it's a VHF, UHF, six band transceiver. It does air band fine, you can listen to marine band and then you've got PMR, GMRS, it's a really nice set and it's even got a radio. So let's just try that, we hold down the F and the radio, and by the way, and the radio comes to life. Have... It becomes like a triple receiver, it shows it at the very top there. You've got two programmable buttons here under PTT, so I've programmed one of those buttons to be Spectrum. So if you go menu, then type 49, you'll get to the side long button. Press menu again, and then you've got a long list. And look at this one, I'll just quickly show this dark theme. I'll select that, and then we'll back out. And then we'll hold down, and look at that. And that actually, I know it's a bit bright for you, but that it looks really nice in, in white on black or black on white. Anyway, so we just go menu 49, like so, press again, and but this time we're not going to use dark theme. And there are several other very interesting settings you can choose, but I'm choosing spectrum. Then we go menu, and back out, and now if we hold down the programmed button, we get to this. And just this alone is, you know, really, I think, visually impressive. And at the moment it looks like it's scanning the air band there. Now looking through, I made a list and I'll put my list in the description. So I've written down that number three changes the mode. So if you look just here, it says FM. Hopefully you can see that just here. Okay. So if I just press three, you'll see it goes AM, SSB, AM, FM, SSB, and it's upper sideband. Okay. And that you can select that in the menu as well, but that's a shortcut. Number five, um, if you want, well, actually I'll do number five in a second. First of all, number seven, let's just press that. At the top here, it says hold, okay? But if you press number seven, it goes to search. Then number one changes this step here, just top left, top left. And you'll see that the amount of, I don't know, bars changes. It found something there. Important one is the squelch, which is, see this line, there's a thin line there. That's effectively like a, a, I don't know, a visual squelch. And if you press number nine, it lowers it. There you are, there's some air band there. Now, you've, it sounds better if you put on, if you're on AM. <laughs> So if I just quickly, while we're here, go to AM, and it has got an AM fix as well, uh, so, which improves that even more. If you press number six, yeah, the squelch line goes higher. See that? Higher, but obviously you want it low if you want to hear anything. So pressing number nine. Let's see if anyone comes through. But you saw it was searching and it found it. And when you find it, you can press seven and, and hold. Now another one that I'm not written, if you look on the top right here, it says it says 4F, okay, 4F. So if you press star, that changes. So I'm, it's, I'm guessing it's changing the IF, but I'm just, it goes from one to 12. So I'll just leave it in the middle for now. Then if you press zero, we've got the zero here, it'll switch between six X and six F. So I don't know what that does, but that's there. So now here's another little surprise. You know, so far it's impressive anyway, but if we press number five, we get a color spectrum. And it, it looks better than it does on camera. It looks really good. And then lower that squelch. We can change the, uh, the amount as well. I think that looks nice, but it's nice and fine. If we press number five again, 
you get this screen and press again see that there is a change look so it's spectrum and waterfall spectrum only I mean waterfall only and I'm pressing number five and I've seen another image I'll just show you it where you have the waterfall but on the left you have um, almost like a separate window and I haven't worked out how to find that window I'll show you what it looks like it looks like that now that's not my radio mine's the Riage, but it's the rad tail you need to buy really and look there's information there on the left FM frequency and then you've got this so I'm not sure how to achieve that but you can once you know so then I thought to myself well will it do 20 27 28 megahertz so we'll back out We'll type in zero, oh, let's go to the A band. So A band is hold down the red button. Oh no, you get all this, that's another one I haven't showed you. Hold down the red button, you get all these different settings that you can set, quite advanced. Let's hold down the A again. Okay, and now we're gonna press um, zero, two, seven, then all the fives. Okay, hopefully that's it. Then we'll press and hold. Go back into Spectrum. Move the squelch down. We're in, so we're in 27 megs searching across. If we do 28, we'll do the ham band as well. I'll get an antenna connected. So what I'll do is I'll take the antenna off. Now I don't know if, the hardware is correct for even receiving the HF bands, but we've got this adapter. We'll just screw that on there. That's going straight to my long wire that I would normally use on all my other HF radios, which is just a 49 to 1 ballon and um, a 66 foot length of wire. I've also got a 9 to 1 ballon with, I think, a 20 meter wire. I'll have to re remind myself what size that wire is. But anyway, let's uh, let's have a look. Go around in circles here. We've got the wire connected. Let's get the squelch down with number nine. We've got the mode there. It's in search mode. We press hold or search. Just going up and down and seeing what it does. So up and down, I'm guessing that gives you, yeah, it's gone up to 28 megs there, but the squelch has gone up. As soon as you, as soon as I did the change the band, the squelch went up. You press the five, you get the colors. Then you get the spectrum and the color. I wish I knew how to, um, Get that split screen I showed you. If I just hold down the red, nope. Just takes you out. There's your LMB screen. Let's leave it in LMB screen and then hold down five. Maybe that does it. Nope, squelch down. So I know I'm gonna get loads of questions. Does it transmit? And uh, you know, I would say no. You can go into menu. And there is actually a, a, a mode selection. It's got, with the new M70 firmware, it's got 70 menus, 70 menu selections. So there's modulation and it's USB and LSB. So let's just make sure it's on USB. I think it's hold down the red to get out of that one there. So we, we think, yeah, it does, it definitely says USB on the screen. Back to Spectrum by holding down. I'll bring the squelch down. So it's a tough one, isn't it? So when you change... So now we're in the ham bands. So I'll have to wait until we get... When I know it's, it's active. And you might have experimented yourself. So how much are these? They're about £25. And of course, you don't have to use 
these features. You can use it because it doesn't come with M70 and I have, I've made a very clear detailed video loading up M70 so please stick with it um, um, trying to load it. I didn't really have a problem. It has got USB-C charging. The programming cable was just, I use those all-in-one cables, which I highly recommend you get on Amazon. Uh, I can send you, I'll put a link in the description of, of this video, as with everything else. Highly recommend you get one from Amazon, um, because, you know, they just work, and they work on several radios. Otherwise, you can just do the normal, if I go 4, 3, 4, 5, 5, all the zeros, and it's definitely not going to do digital radio, by the way. <laughs> I get asked that so much. And then on the B band, air band there, and then we can just take off the HF and put on um, the new, the usual antenna. And it, I've actually ended up putting up my Quashon one on there. I not, can't remember, because th this actually, I, I actually bought this set several years ago, at least two years ago, I bought this. I liked it because I like the, because it's actually a lot more colorful, a lot nicer to look at than the on the on the selling listing they show it in like a red and black but it's a lot more colorful than the red and black they've actually got the wrong photos do you see that that's hubnet coming through so now the mode button has changed now so we have to go menu modulation and look how colorful that is Goes all nice and green. I don't know if I've set the tone on this. This, and of course, it holds memory channels. I'm just now reminding myself how to get into memory mode because I've been so buried in learning this, I've actually forgotten. And that's what I'm like, you know. I be there's so many different things that I'm learning. That's the all the LMB menu. I know what it was, it was hash. I remember now. So we've got some memory channels there. And it does display, if you look in tiny right in there, it says Airband, Hubnet. So if I just go M0FXB test, and you'll see it goes, oh, I didn't open up that. I wonder why, maybe I've set the tone wrong. But anyway, you'll, ah, that's the wrong frequency actually, 435550, that's the wrong frequency. Uh, so I need to reprogram that. The software worked fine. I've definitely made a, a clear video on that. That's WB. You see it goes red when you key. And then if you hold down, I put that you can listen to the input, if I remember right, as well. Anyway, I've done loads of tutorials on this, so check it out. I thought this video is basically about learning to use the Spectrum Waterfall Scope 7.3, all the best.